Hello and thanks for checking out my video on how to set up an FTP client using FileZilla. First off let's head on over and open up your FileZilla program. Then when that's done up in the top left corner click on the file menu button. And we're about ready to create our first new site. So go on down to where it says site manager or control S and then click on uh, the site manager there. And that'll open up this little box here. I'm going to go down to new folder so we can create our personal site. And just click on the new folder button. And this here pops up and you want to name it. You know, name it whatever you want to. In this example, we're going to name it personal. And again, for as many of these as you want to create, just repeat this process. But we're creating the folder first, then we're going to create the site inside of that. So next you click on New Site. And like with the new folder, we want to name this. We enter the name here. And we'll go ahead and name it personal insofar as this example. Now we get on over to the host section and type in the host. Usually it'll start with FTP. I've known some that haven't, but for this example it is. And for the port, it's going to be the default is 21. So unless you've got other instructions you know about that I don't, just leave it at, de at uh, the default of 21 and under uh, server type most every time it's going to be FTP again unless you know something else that I don't and under logon type uh, for the sake of this example and of course most all times it'll be normal so go ahead and click on the normal tab and that'll open up this so here you want to click on your user or I'm sorry enter your username and your password If you're not sure what this is, well, you might want to contact your web hosting company, uh, your server company, and because more than likely you set it up yourself. But if you forgot somehow and didn't write it down, silly, then you should contact them and they should be able to reset it for you. Now, under the uh, do not save password, that should be pretty self explanatory. If you check it, it's not going to save your password. I'm kind of lazy, so I don't like to remember things, so I usually just leave it unchecked. In the comments box, I've never really messed with that, but you know, like the don't say password box, it's self-explanatory. And if you want, go ahead and click on the default site. So every time that you open up your FTP program, this is the one that's going to pop up. And you click on the save and exit button. And guess what, folks? We're just about done. Now let's go ahead and uh, open it up. Now to connect to the site, we want to go to the file menu where we were earlier. Open that up. Just a left click on your mouse button. Click on connect to default site. That's the one we just set up and named it as our default site. And up here you can see the screen is verifying your connection. And there you go. If you haven't figured it out yet, on the left hand side of the screen is your computer and on the right hand side of the screen is your server, what has been uploaded to your server. Hope you've enjoyed the video and like always, if you have any questions, just send me an email. I'll be happy to hear from you and get back to you as soon as I can.